All right, it's uh, been a few weeks since I made a video and uh, decided to uh, make a video of this little uh, pistol crossbow. Uh, this is not a review or anything, just want to kind of show you what's in, what it's included and we'll shoot it eventually. Um, I did pick this up at Royal King for $16. That's why I got it. Now, I probably wouldn't have picked it up had I not already shot one, but a buddy at work got one. Um, we messed around with it out back and for $16, it's a pretty good deal in my opinion. Uh, now it is plastic. We'll go over the features here in a moment. Um, and the instructions are on the back. So it gives you the full assembly right on the back. There's nothing, no booklet included. It just shows you how to, six steps here, how to assemble it. So we'll do that as well. Um, and it gives you not only the pictures, it gives you the actual verbiage. Bolt speed's 150 feet per second, um, power stroke two and a half inch, width 17 and a third, length with stirrup 19 and a half, limbs are compression molded fiberglass, stocks composite, and they suggest uh, what bolt, six and a half inch aluminum bolt. Now I did, uh, these are actually six and three eighths aluminum bolts, instead of 12, I did pick these up. These were nine dollars, so they were almost as much as the actual pistol itself. Now it does include three, so, out of the box, you're ready to go. Um, features, self-cocking. Self-cocking features, simple and safe while ensuring precise string alignment. ABS construction, again with the fiberglass limbs, auto safety, adjustable three pin sight, and includes three bolts as pictured. So, uh, for $16, I could not um, pass it up. Again, I, I, if I hadn't shot it, I probably wouldn't got it. Now. I don't know if you have Royal King in your area. Uh, I don't know if they, they ship online or, or any of that. I'm sure with shipping it's going to be more, but, but like, you know, after tax, it was 17 and some change here in Ohio. Um, I did find them, I think on Amazon, they were like 40 bucks. So, uh, worth 40? Eh, I don't know. Uh, I think I read somewhere, and it doesn't say on here, that it had an 80 pound pool, which I find uh, unbelievable. I don't think it's that much, but at any rate, um, I shot it, and we shot it at some cardboard in it, thick, thick cardboard, and it went all the way through it. So I was pretty impressed, and uh, the construction of it was pretty solid. So we're going to go ahead, we'll stop the camera, we'll uh, open up the box, and we'll show you what it's included, and then we'll, uh, we'll start putting this bad boy together, and then eventually shoot it. So we'll be back. All right, here we are. Here are the contents. It's got some plastic over it. We are going to just make a slit. There, good enough. Here are your three bolts. I thought they had three fletchings on them, but there's only two. So, I don't know. These are aluminum. Um, again, I recommend six and a half, but right next to them they had these six and three eighths, so I'm sure they'll work just fine. Of course, we have the pistol itself, which again it is ABS, but it feels solid. It feels like a, uh, you know, almost a, nah, not as thick, but it's a regular crossbow. So there's that, and then of course up here we've got the limbs. These, these actually feel metal, but they're they're reinforced fiberglass. So there you are. I don't know if I mentioned it, but it's uh, this has Cobra system on it right here. But it's actually made by Silent Strike, so I don't know. I'm sure this same exact model is available under many, many different names. Um, and they just repackage it. So we're going to go ahead and open up the string here. We'll get our instructions already in the back. We'll actually move the camera and we'll be right back and we'll show you those step by step. Okay, now we're, uh, we've are we got the gun kind of propped up where we uh, can get a better angle on it and we're ready to start assembling. So I went ahead and opened that package that included the string. So you've got your bowstring here. You've got two end caps for the limbs. These are what the string go around. You also have an Allen key. You have an Allen socket or Allen head, which we've already started. So this is uh, 
got a threaded insert. So go ahead and thread this in until you can just feel it. We're just going to start it there. You've got two like foam slash rubber pads. You've got a, a metal like plate, and then you've got a triangular one. Now I don't believe all of them have this triangular one, but see back here, this is triangle shape. That's actually where this goes. I don't know what purpose that really serves. Maybe to give it some flexibility. I don't know. Um, you notice on the limbs here, you have two white lines. You want to go ahead and insert them in to where those white lines are even on either side. So the tricky part is you've got to put this insert in, which you may be beneficial. We're going to try it this way. Again, I've never installed one of these. We're actually going to flip it upside down. There. Flip it upside down. We're going to tighten this screw a little bit more to give us some something to kind of give us a little bit of resistance. And we could put each piece in. That's a little bit too far. So we'll start with the triangular piece. Again, it's right here. We're going to slide it back there. Now in between that and the bow, we need to install one of these rubber pads. So we'll try to move our hand here. I have to loosen this up a little bit. we got too much on there. It's going to be kind of hard for me right now because I'm actually, the camera's quite a bit of ways away from me and I want to make sure I've got it in the line. We're going to loosen it up some more. We need a little bit more room there. So we've got that rubber pad in. And we've got that triangle kind of where we need it there. And we're going to hold it there. And we're going to put another rubber pad in the front. We're just going to kind of get them started. And then we're going to put that metal plate. And we need to loosen it up a little bit. Get this metal plate in. Okay. So now we've got everything kind of where it needs to be. Now we're going to, not tighten it, but just kind of get it snug so we can go ahead and line all this up. So see, I've got the line over here, but you can't see it over here. So we'll loosen it up a little bit more. There, I can see the start of the lines on either side. Make sure we've got all of our pieces in here aligned. Go, and then go ahead and snug it down. You don't want it too tight, just enough so it doesn't move. And then we can double check all of our pieces so we can see we've got the same amount of rubber on each side. So you can see on the side here, so there's the triangle piece. Piece of foam rubber. Same thing over there. You can see that set screw. Set screw's got to be going against that metal piece. And you can see we've got a line over there. We don't have it over here. Well, we kind of do. It's not perfect. We'll try to get it perfect. There. That's about perfect right there. I'm going to go ahead and crank this down just a little bit. Not too tight. Just enough so it doesn't move. There we are. So let's zoom out a little bit here. The next thing we're going to do is put these end pieces on. And then just push on. Push them on good and tight. So when you think they're on, they're not all the way on. Go ahead and push them again. So we've got both of those end pieces on. And the last step is the string. So, I may not be able to do this one-handed, we'll see. A lot of people have needed two hands, so we'll go ahead and hook one side. Easier said than done, we'll have to do it with two hands. So one side's hooked. And then you're going to have to bend, so push it down. We'll go ahead and, we're out as far as we can. And they recommend two people do this. So push push down on the limb and then stretch the other side over. There. 
there we go. So that's that. If we wanted to use a caulking feature, which we'll go over all that, you push this button down, and you can see this, this pulls it back to caulk it. But we'll go over that when we're ready to shoot it. Um, I'm not ready to shoot it this evening, but uh, there we are. So it's fully assembled, ready to go. Now we gotta do is adjust the sights, and then we'll be done. Give it a little shot here and there. We'll actually probably do that tomorrow, so I'll be in one video. So when you come back, we'll be testing this bad boy out. Stay tuned for that.